Howdy, this is Plague, and welcome back to Season 2. Um, if you could tell by the uh, intro there, which I hopefully did as good as I'm pre-announcing, uh, there's been some changes. Um, basically, overall, what happened was that uh, with the update of 1.62 and all the good changes with horses and whatnot, um, I decided to uh, do a reboot like others. So I've restarted the world. Um, I've gone ahead and and did a number of things um, to kind of get us back a little bit to where we were before. So you kind of missed out on that. Um, I've already been to the nether and got a very temporary base there. I don't have as good elaborate base as I had before. Um, but I've been there, uh, got some goodies, and I've already been to the end, killed the dragon, and have started setting up a uh, ender farm there. Uh, Again, to get us back where we're, so I'm just going to, this episode is just going to be a quick update as to the status and then where we're going from here. So as you can see in here, this is kind of my temporary hovel that I've uh, built up. I try not to do too much damage to an area when I'm still just kind of collecting stuff. So everything's really cramped in here. This is um, a pathway down to a uh, zombie spawner I found um, that I've been harvesting for EP off a bit for a while. Um, this goes down to just mining, uh, branch mining down there. Uh, I just needed extra room for storage. S simple brewing setup here. Got some pumpkins that I haven't installed yet. Pumpkins and melons. And over here is the gate to the nether. It's not too loud. And let's go out here real quick. Got my patented kind of door here with the plate and the fence gate. Um, if you don't know, unless they're pushed, mobs won't really go through um, gates like that with the with the pad on them. So that works out pretty well. Got them here. Here's one of my uh, enchanting setups. So I've got that all going. Over here is the little farm to not really give me food but to give the animals food and then I have a cow breeder here set up a, a Doc M or a Zuma type setup so I got the cows in here and go ahead and harvest these guys on here let's make sure which sword this is I've had really bad luck in enchanting especially swords let's just go ahead and take care of these guys real quick always need some good beef Come on. Thought. Oh, so there we go. Come on. Come on, Mark. Okay. So I've got that. Um, I also have. <coughs> How are they jumping? There's something weird. I know I turned this button off. There. Okay. As I said, I've been to the end, so I have ender pearls. Let's uh, go up a bit so I can show you what I plan here and why we're in this area. Let's see how that works out. Hmm, can't see anything. Let's try this again. You're going to get in my way, aren't you? Okay, much better. Up up here. Here we go. There's no bad guys up here. Pretty quiet. So this is the first uh, base we're gonna do. Is uh, we're gonna turn this pillar here into like a maybe somewhat modern high rise. And this is where I'm gonna have a huge village of uh, of villagers. And I'm going to dig this out a little bit more so that they're basically on an island inside this nice uh, nice mountain area with um, rivers or lakes, whatever you want to call this, around them. And I've gone ahead and uh, like double hide some borders along the just the outskirts here to keep the animals in place. And we'll make that look better because uh, I've had to go through a few times and, and fix it from Enderman pulling up dirt and letting animals get out. 
So that's what this is going to be right here. Uh, let's see if we can go over here a ways. Is village that I found out. Again, if you noticed in the intro, I kind of showed a few snippets. I haven't traveled too much in this world, but uh, I did check the world out before I chose it so that I knew that it would have... Oh, it's lots of way than I thought it was. Um, some basic things in the world, so um, I knew it had a village nearby where I, nearby spawn. Um, had a couple features like you saw the desert temple and you see right now the desert temple and okay so there's the village there and there's a desert temple there's also a jungle village somewhere which I haven't gone to yet um, and there is a witch hut nearby which uh, we won't see this time but I'll just kind of take you to where <coughs> excuse me where in general it is. Oops. Toys. Thought I'd switched it to food. Okay, so as you can see, that it looks pretty nice, and that would look really nice if we turn that into a nice, uh, nice building um, for the. No, oh, that's the wrong one. It's the one over there. Nice building for the villagers to live in, and also. Part of the reason I did that, or one of the reasons that I chose to restart the world is uh, our main village before, I just screwed up the um, the iron golem farm that I had created. Um, just counted as a village and destroyed the, the rest of the village. I mean, the, that nice apartment complex I had built over there, you know, for a while it had lots of villagers and um, what had happened was that uh, they just started dying off and they weren't replacing themselves so obviously the iron golem was basically destroying the village they kind of made that pointless to keep that going because i'd have to take down the iron golem farm and that which i haven't rebuilt yet here anyway here is our temporary primary uh, nether base um so you can see it's pretty much just a square so i can look out um lucky enough that there is a huge nether fortress there and it actually swings around quite a ways that you can't see and it goes through the the rocks there out this backside here i have just a path i created to take us down into the uh, the fortress but we'll look at that later um, right here i have this blocked off um, at one point i was fighting a gassed and a zombie pigman got in the way and killed me. It was pretty much my first few deaths in this world, or I think it was only the deaths in this world, is that I came out and he, the guy just killed me. And I got back and they killed me a couple times, so I kind of protected myself. Anyway, so then I dug this down. Oh, the reason that this is here in the way it is so one of the things I did is, like I said, I went to the end, so I had to find the uh, stronghold, which I did. And um, it turns out that uh, in the overworld, it seemed like a decent distance, but uh, in the nether, it was really close. You can see we were just there, and we've gone a short ways. And then here is our portal stronghold. And there. And basically, I had to force that because when I, I created this one first when I got here, and it took me back to the primary base. So obviously, then I realized that they were too close. So that's why um, that tunnel from the nether we just came from is there, um, because um, they were too linked, and so I had to force the matching up of this one. So that's what that little trip was for. Let's see what time is it? It's almost getting night. Let's just jump up real quick here. Let's show you around the stronghold. It was pretty much at the edge of a, a swamp. It just turned out really nice for um, uh, slime balls. Even though I don't have any um, 
bushes yet. We will need it for leads. And there's a swamp. And I think over in that direction, which we'll look sometime later and, and try to check out, is uh, a witch hut. So hopefully it'll spawn a witch and we can maybe change that to a farm so we can get the goodies that witches have. And let's go back down here. <clears throat> And I've been uh, harvesting a lot from uh, the stronghold. As you can see out here, I've carved out the huge area. I've been mining this for, for smooth stone and for the nice uh, different kinds of bricks here, which I plan to use um, in the end in other places. So that's why this is kind of just a big empty hole. And like last time, when I finally found the stronghold, um, this portal had no eyes so that took uh, countless days uh, maybe two weeks in minecraft days of farming endermen to finally get the uh, eyes to uh, create this thing that was quite an ordeal and i haven't changed this yet which won't be at least lining this up nice look make this look nice if you come up here let's come back here and look at this a little bit. I just planted some trees outside the entrance just to make it look a little nice. I thought it would bring a little overworld into the um, end. And also um, our tunnel out to our ender farm, which we can't see yet, is here. And I decided to use uh, something simple, but also um, use uh, nether materials just to kind of a, a dichotomy. So, you know, having the end inside, not the end, the nether materials inside the end. I thought that uh, was a nice uh, little change there. So let's... Uh... Oh, I missed that. I just recently put this uh, track in. I was running this. And I've got water up here along this whole thing here just to keep the Enderman from being able to spawn there. I did that in the, the last farm too. It is. Uh, I cover the top of the uh, ender farm and whatnot with water just so the, the enemy that want to spawn don't have anywhere to go. They have to come into the little pads I have upstairs or up top. Hey. And here we go here. This is again pretty basic setups. Pretty much like it was before. I think it might be a little smaller. And let's just come up to here a little bit, take a look. So you can see that's the main end. Here is our setup. I did not look at anybody. Anyway, we basically just have four pads. I mean, I, I know in the dockyums or whatever, it goes up like 20 levels from there. Um, you know, I've slowly gathered enough materials to do this. And at this point, four creates, as you can see, quite a nice supply of Endermen, so I'm not too worried about creating too many more of these. And then this is this pillar here is really just ladders on both sides. And again, I used nether, nether brick again to kind of uh, bring the end, the end, the nether into the end. So these guys fill up quick and it only takes a few minutes to get to 30. And then downstairs, simple setup. Oh, so as you can see underneath here, it's all hoppers, which are crisscrossing each other, going into these two chests, which are getting rather full at this point. And then these are just overflow chests, which for right now are just manually filling. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have more of the other chests than I'll ever need. This was an attempt to farm. You know, before I had farmed in the nether, the nether, boy, I get this mixed up in the end and had no problems but now if you uh and i tried this on the mainland too um if you try to create a farm in the net in the end um you plant something it'll stay there for a minute but then after anywhere from a few seconds to maybe a minute the seeds pop out so it seems though other than forcing trees you can't really grow anything in the nether anymore or in the nether oh my god in the end so that's uh, definitely an unusual change that I didn't remember having for. So here is my enchantment setup for here. Again, it's very small, low profile. That's to 
keep them from being able to pop up in here. So there's our setup, the stone. Here's my tinder uh, chest. Got a few of the main goodies. I've gotten lucky in that I have found a number of saddles and some good armor. I found no name tags yet. So, and since we're not really doing much traveling at this point, we uh, haven't really worried about getting a horse yet. And then in here is my supply. That's some stuff I collected with. A, I do have silk touch, which is nice. And I plan on re breaking these with a fortune pick that I got. In, anyway, so then over here is all the enchantment stuff. So I've gotten really, you can see I've gotten really bad enchantments on the swords. I think I've gotten Bane of Anthropods like on every sword I've done, which really sucks. So we got those and a couple. I did get good on another pick there, and then these are just oh, they're so good. these are just stuff I'm planning on using for repairs and whatnot. And then a number of books which I haven't really used yet. It's a nice aqua affinity, one thorns too, which is nice. And I got feather falling forward, which will be nice to add something once I finally get going. Oh, I have two of these. I think I was gonna find those. I think you can go feather falling five. One of these here. I have set up so you can have. To five, and there's projectile protection. Anyway, so that's enough for that. And those guys are getting noisy. Let's see if I can get by. And let's see, what else do we need to show? Um, I think that might be it. Um, this was really just meant to be a, uh, a quick bring you up to date as to uh, where things stand and where we're going to go. Uh, like I said, the the real primary focus is to turn that uh, first base area into a really huge high-rise for tons of villagers. Um, once I get that set up, I think what I'm going to do is come back, is uh, create a um, <clears throat> somewhat of an ender. Oh, where are we here? Um, this is still very basic, but I think what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to use some of the bricks from the um, stronghold. And I think I'm going to create a uh, kind of like a miniature castle around this, just to, and then probably with, like I said, with those bricks, um, probably in the style of uh, the miniature castle, the same castle that uh, Etho and a couple guys did to pause. And uh, the Minecraft server where Etho created like a nice little sand castle. I thought that was a very nice compact design that would be good for, um, you know, something uh, without being too elaborate, but look kind of nice. Anyway, so that's what that is. And then we're sleep here. Let's get that back. Alrighty, so I think I've pretty much brought you guys up to date. So, uh, like I said, the next things now, I've been kind of holding on doing a, some stuff uh, on here because I just wanted to get the basic going and then show you guys before I uh, really start in on doing major construction. Oh, the one thing that I was thinking about doing is for this place to help keep it populated is structure a iron golem farm uh, way up in the air uh, above this so that the iron golems will fall somewhere into here and possibly on top and uh, so we can collect their goodies but also um, mix into it uh, that part of design of Doc M's uh, infinite village breeder so that uh, as the villagers are breeding um, upstairs or up in the air in the uh, iron golem farm that the extra will be shoved out and then they'll fall down from the sky into like a pool which they'll be distributed then um, inside the complex so that way um, I never run out of villagers so if I put the iron golem farm way up there um, I'll get the iron um, it won't hurt the village population because it'll keep just dropping villagers here so um, at this some point um, this place will get full of villagers and then plus then that's a nice little high little mountain or little spire here that uh, is a decent size that we'll be able to nice turn it into uh, keeping the same basic shape we'll be able to turn it into a uh, 
a nice size uh, village complex. So it should hold tons of villagers, and plus the ones that'll be out here swimming and walking around the, the dairy area. Alrighty, well, I think that brings us all up to date. I thank you for watching and continue in with me, and I hope you're not uh, too disappointed about the rebooting of the, the series, but I think this, uh, this world and the options that we have here um, will uh, make a nice good start, and uh, other than going to the uh, stronghold, I've tried to keep within uh, I think pretty much a thousand block radius. So uh, any future updates, which there's been talk out that it's going to be a biome update, which would probably be really nice. Um, that way, this world won't get destroyed too much by that. Meaning, you know, we want to just start over again, and just so we have new biomes. So new biomes shouldn't be too far away from here. Okay, so there we go. That's it. And thank you uh, again for watching. And until next time, have fun.